up the real comic stats. This new stages, those spills will have you stepping back. Alternative. Let's get back to the subject at hand. The subject at hand is um, we we're going to discuss. You know, our ideas on how the MCU is going to introduce mutants into uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, some ideas on that. What's your thoughts? Um, let's let's go around the room. Hold on. Let's go around the room. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Wait, who wants to go first? Ladies first. Okay, because I said I was ready. I already, I already knew what I wanted to say as soon as you opened up the discussion. So, I'm so with a love triangle action movie. I want Black Panther and Storm and Logan. That's what I want. I want that story. I want that story bad. I want to see it played out. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not even okay. familiar with that whole story because I know I know like Black Panther got with Storm, but then Logan got with Storm. But I didn't know like they were like you know at odds with each other. That's a good way to introduce those two characters. I really like that idea. Actually, yeah. yes, that's what I want. I want an action-packed love triangle, love story with some drama. I want some drama. So you, you got you bring in Logan for the third part. I like that because in fact. Yeah. When they wrote that story, when they wrote them, you know, getting together and falling in love and all that, um, they put a backstory to that mm -hmm. where they like met as kids. So, um, yeah. What? Oh, I gotta yes, read that. Yes, most definitely go read that. So they met as kids and they had like a little fling as teenagers. They were like teenagers. So they met as teenagers. They had a little fling. Um, and then, you know, he went on, he was. This was before he was Black Panther. She had no idea who he was, any of that. He went on to do his thing or whatever, and then they meet back up, and it's like, oh, shit. It's like, you. <laughs> so, like coming to America. Right. Like, so He was a prince. <laughs> but it's Wakanda instead of Zamunda. Oh, y'all talking about Storm and y'all talking about Storm and uh, Black Panther. I, talk, I thought y'all was talking about Storm and Logan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Nah. But y'all know the, the, the comics go through so many freaking metaverses and crap like that. It's like so many different dimensions. Like yep. any story is every freaking story is true. Right. <laughs> yeah. I right. Come up like, oh yeah, Rogue was a cat one day. It's like boom, it's probably true <laughs> boom. somewhere. That's king. Right. All right, so Phil, what are your thoughts? Uh well my my thoughts, like huh? I mean I like I like how she like she just uh, pinpointed like a specific oh, story. The way I way I kind of thought of it was like, <laughs> you know, they, you know, now that I'm thinking of more like the business aspect, like now that like Disney's <coughs> bought up a whole bunch of uh, Fox and Sony, and they like I feel like you know it would be a good thing if they went back and actually like streamlined and followed the comics a little bit more and retold the stories. And I think that's what the fans are looking for, because I mean Fox had just like flat out lost their way they were wandering around in the dark <laughs> doing just the most <laughs> random stuff like silver samurais cutting wolverine's claws and just crazy shit like that like are you yeah. serious like y'all um, <laughs> like, i like to see the x-men involvement like you know where they were at like during civil war like i mean shoot like, I mean, we got they're, they're off you know with lalandra and fighting like all them all, all the other oh, different well, aliens right, we, and, and that's the thing i think now something i will say before I get into mine, something I will say I believe should happen is they should keep the X-Men contained for a little while. And then, like, there may be some minor crossovers here and there with, like, the main MCU. But I think they should keep them contained. Do stuff like um, the Shi'ar and the Imkhan Crystal, stuff like that. Um, maybe have Apocalypse be their big villain for, like, three movies or something. And then kind of do, like, a big crossover where... You have X Men involved with the Avengers or or whatever, however that goes down. But I think they should stick with themselves for a few movies before it gets into all that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Because I mean, to me, it's, to me, it's kind of mirroring what you're talking about with uh, how they did Iron Man, how they did Captain America, it's like you know, how they did Spider Man. Like they start with their <laughs> own movies and then they came together with you know Avengers. But it doesn't have to be named Avengers. Like when they bring them on, they can come up with a different name. But it's like okay, it shows like the war. It 
It shows like, you know, Secret Wars. It shows, you know, whatever they want to bring to the forefront. But now they got the capacity to bring everybody together and like make the real story and tell the story that everybody's been reading for so long. You can okay. really have a really huge contained universe with you this really stuff. Can. Cause like you Sorry. could tell stories, like you could just do a movie where Captain America and Wolverine get together back in World War II. Like that, that could be, be a, a whole movie. movie. Like it'd be like Saving Private Ryan in you know MCU. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like you can get super dramatic like that. Like you can get yeah. on the level of like a Saving Private Ryan. Just have like this self-contained story that's just them two meeting and it's a chance encounter. They knock out a mission or whatever. And it's over. Like yeah. it's it's like yeah, that'd be perfect. You know, a year in the Marvel Universe, but just that one little spot. And I think they're attempting to do something like that with Star Wars, where they just start throwing out, you know, little mini movies. I think they're kind of testing that, and then I think they want to get into that with Marvel. I'm loving the Mandalorian. Mandalorian I want to see so something, good. but we're talking about Marvel, but you just said Star Wars. Asaka's getting her own show, and that's the best shit I ever. Saw that too. And it's my girl. Oh my Wait, who? God. Ahsoka's getting her own show. Yeah. Yes! You who is Ahsoka? So good. Oh, man. oh my god. What? What do you mean? Who is Ahsoka? Anakin's um Do you say who is Ahsoka? Fandel, um <laughs> What are your thoughts on how the Marvel Cinematic Universe <laughs> will attempt to gracefully uh bring mutants into the MC? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> so I did do a video. On this topic i'm dropping it tonight but i wanted to talk about it first i didn't want y'all to know what i was gonna say um and how i was gonna tell a story so the video is like i think it's like 16 minutes um so it's pretty robust how i get into the story and everything but basically how i would do it is because the the big thing with the mcu is that a lot has happened like big important stuff so you've had like for example civil war um iron man 3 um there's a lot that happened there like with all the armors and stuff like that you have the chitauri invasion and avengers um, you have fighting thanos and all of that stuff that's happened the snap and everything so there's you're gonna have to explain why um there's this group of individuals with powers that just all of a sudden show up um, so for me, um, what I believe they should do is have what's sort of like a mutant Illuminati. Um, so going back in time, if you think about the X-Men cartoon, I think everybody's old enough to have seen that. Um, but the X-Men cartoon, it showed a little bit in like the second or third episode of Magneto and Xavier meeting like as college students or something like that <clears throat> but i think they should do something like that like they get together find out each other's mutants and believe themselves to be the only two for a while and then find out that other mutants are out there and fast forward in time um you get a group of mutants um powerful ones wealthy ones uh mutants like uh apocalypse magneto xavier they both have money um, the Hellfire Club. So you have, uh, you know, Sebastian Shaw um, and like, like White Queen or whatever. Like you get all these like wealthy mutants together, Mr. Sinister, uh, characters like that. And they have like basically a mutant Illuminati. And what they've been doing is protecting mutants from mankind. And so how they've been working since, and it started with Magneto and Xavier is basically the they go out and find mutants when their powers manifest and then they basically do like a the men in black of mutants and like cover up the occurrence so mutants have been existing for decades and nobody's known about them because these this group of very wealthy characters have gotten together and basically hidden the fact that mutants exist from mankind um so they they you know, there's been some debates within their community. There's different factions within the organization. Like, for example, the Hellfire Club. Um, you got people with their own agendas making moves behind the organization's back. Um, I had ideas where, you know, they 
when the mutants manifest their powers, they show up, they wipe minds, do all that stuff, and then take the mutant off somewhere. Um, it could be the island of Krokoa. Um, that's one idea I had. Or like Xavier's school exists, and that's where they go. Um, especially since, you know, usually it's during puberty when powers manifest. Um, so, December 21st, baby. Oh, shit. It's <laughs> my birthday. Powers are on the way. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah so um that's that's basically how i would do it look i'm about to put the joke up on the screen way let get low to me <laughs> all right so i i had two i had two and um the the first one was the one i was going to use at first because um i thought it was the simplest one it was because we already actually have two mutants on the Avenger squad. One died and one's still alive. That's Scarlet Witch and um, Quicksilver. And of course, they can say, well, we classified them wrong. Um, what was it? Uh, this, the, the, the Mind Stone didn't... Well, it's not the Mind Stone. It's the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone didn't give them actual powers. The Tesseract. What was the Tesseract? Is the Tesseract? What's the Scepter? Space Stone was the Tesseract, right? The Scepter was the Mind Stone. I thought it was yeah, the Mind so the, Stone. Yeah, and right. So, and the and Tesseract that's, that's was a space song. Right. So that's what they was trying to say that gave Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver their powers, but no, it didn't. It just awakened their powers. It was actually mutants. And then Magneto can be coming for his daughter because he found out his son got killed. And I know that'd be like, well, how do you explain where the mutants come from then? And I was like, I don't know. They had to figure that out. That was the first one. <laughs> Let me let you finish. All right. So with the so with the second one, I think that Marvel can actually play off of Sony. Well, is it Fox Fox and what they've done with the, the X-Men, the mutants so far? Because all the X-Men movies, correct me if I'm wrong, were really set back in the 1970s. None of them was like in the 2000s. Well, the first three were. The first well, the first few. So all the X-Men, the original ones, and then the Origins went back to the nineties, I think. And then um and then there's there's Logan and stuff. Man. What about X-Men Apocalypse? So Apocalypse, so starting with first class, they come they go back to like the late sixties, early seventies. Yeah. Right. So I would use those and kind of play off of those that mutants was here because that was like before the kind of superhero age. And then actually had them do what you were saying before about the Shi'ar and fighting in space where they went on a mission in space. And then that's why they missed all this stuff that was happening here on Earth. And then once they get back, because they got they got caught up in the snap too. Once they get back, then they introduce them in. Because I guess the other question is too, to um if we if we talking about how they're gonna introduce the mutants how are they going to introduce fantastic four like that's a powerful team that you didn't use that's somebody as smart i mean Reed richards is smarter than tony stark so fantastic four makes sense because of their origin and just what you were talking about them being out in space or whatever so you can even have it to where the fantastic four don't even have their abilities yet um good point so they they go off into space and the the x-men are different in that they're born with their powers and you know they manifest at puberty or whatever so it's harder right. to be like oh they just they they've been here this whole time you can't say that but you can't like right. you can say you know the fantastic four reads to you know johnny storm they've all been here this whole time they just now got powers or they got powers and they're stuck off in the cosmos somewhere and they're now just now getting back to earth or whatever Mr. right so i mean those are my ideas i mean however they do it i'm, I'm cool with it they, they just need to get the mutant zone up in there i would love to see magneto fight the avengers the original avengers because that would just be interesting because i don't think they could handle magneto full power Okay. Because everything, yeah. every everything they throw at Magneto, Magneto can technically stop the Hulk. He can technically stop Thor. He can. Iron Man don't have a chance unless well, <laughs> Nano. Yeah. Captain America, Hawkeye, and the rest of them. I mean, I just want to see that fight, and in a love triangle. 
between Scarlet Witch, between Scarlet Witch, or no, Black Widow and Magneto, just for her sake. <laughs> for that love triangle. <laughs> for little, for little one to get a love triangle in there between Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, and Magneto, and Vision. Lil, I'm with some it. help. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm so with it. I want all the love and all the drama. When I became an adult, like I gave up comics for a little bit. So, um, like, there's a big block of time where I didn't, I didn't know anything about what was going on. So, uh, when I don't seem like it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up the real comic stacks. This new stages don't spills, but have you 